CPI, headline number, up six-tenths of one percent, up six-tenths of one percent. That equals our last look. The high watermark on that was up nine-tenths several times, October of last year being the most recent. If you strip out food and energy, it was up six-tenths as well. Both these are hotter than expected. And on the core side, up nine-tenths of the high watermark from April. So these were supposed to moderate. They did not moderate. Now for the biggies, 7.5 on year-over-year headline, 6% on year-over-year core. Let's go to the whiteboard. So 7.5%, and that is, of course, on headline. You have to go to 1982 to find a higher number. And, of course, when we look at 5.5 on core, well, 5.5 Uh, December of 21 was 5.5. So therefore, uh, we are equaling what we have seen last. But no, it came in at 6%. So now we have to go down on the whiteboard to August of 82. So those are your numbers on the year over year. That's what everybody's most concerned about. We were supposed to see some alleviated pressure on the monthly read. Uh, We can frame it quite simply. One third of CPI is housing, it's rent, home equivalent rent. And we all know that it's very unlikely these rents, which have been surging, are going to be going down anytime soon. We know labor costs probably aren't going to be going down anytime soon, even though they are far from, at least at this point, uh, competing with the actual rate of inflation. It's lagging. So even though wages are up close to 5%, They're not keeping up with inflation, but they're also most likely not going to go down. Joe, these are the issues that we need to pay attention to. There's going to be plenty of other aspects of CPI that I would think will moderate over time. It's just that time frame is much longer than anybody had anticipated.